Aunt Mary tell us a story. We love to hear your stories. You haven't told us a story in a long time. Would you show us again what's in your memory trunk? Are you sure your mothers won't be worried about you? You must have some chores to do. Well, just for a little while then. Gather around children and I will see what I can find. Let me see. An angel, an angel of the Lord appeared to me long ago when I was just a little older than you are. His name was Gabriel. God sent Gabriel because he had a very important message for me that day. You, you are high. The Lord is with you. Mary, you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Highest. The Lord will give him the throne of his father David. He will rule Jacob's house forever. His kingdom will never end. But how? I am not married. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Highest will hover over you. So the child you bring to birth will be called Holy, the Son of God. I am Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me, just as you say. I was afraid that day, afraid of the angel and the message he brought. But knowing Most High God was smiling at me. Give me courage and hope. What else do you have in there? Let me see too. My goodness, I haven't seen this in years. Dear Joseph, would he believe me if I told him about the angel and his message? Would he believe me? I would. Me too. You say that you would. Now that you have heard the story so often. But I wonder, would you have believed me back then? When you heard the story for the first time? Joseph was very troubled by my news. But God knew my fears and Joseph's fear. And quietly took care of things for me. Joseph, son of David, don't hesitate to get married. Mary's baby is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son and when she does, you Joseph will name him Jesus, which means God saves because he will save his people from their sins. Joseph believed that angel dream and knew that what I had told him was true. So he went ahead with our marriage plans, knowing how difficult it would be. A good man Joseph's God's choice to be the earthly father of his own son. A few months later, they got news that the Roman governor was going to take census. 
he wanted to count all the people he ruled so that he could collect the right amount of taxes. All the people were ordered to go to their family's hometown to enroll. For Joseph, who would trace his family all the way back to King David, that meant going to Bethlehem. Bethlehem, you know, was King David's home village. Joseph, I know it's more difficult for you to travel with me alone since the baby is coming so soon. But the angel said this child would be a king from the line of David. I believe the angel meant for him to be born in Bethlehem, the city of David. I know I can make it that far. Don't worry Mary, we'll reach Bethlehem soon. God certainly will take care of us. I'm sure there will be a place for us to stay in Bethlehem. Here, lean on me. For you, O Lord, my soul in stillness waits. Truly my hope is in you. O Lord of light, our only hope of glory. Shines in all who look to you. Come light the hearts of all in dark and shadow. Don't worry, Mary. We'll reach Bethlehem soon. God certainly will take care of us. I'm sure there will be a place for us to stay in Bethlehem. Here, lean on me. We did make it to Bethlehem. The sleepy little village was buzzing with the activity. But I wasn't thinking about that. Not at all. I knew my baby was ready to born. All I wanted was a room somewhere. Can I get a shelter? We need a shelter, a shelter. Joseph searched everywhere, but people took one look at me and sent us quickly on our way. I guess no one wanted to be bothered with a newborn baby. Finally, one innkeeper took pity on us and led us in, led us to his stable. The animals were settled down for the night. Joseph made a bed of clean straw for me and there in that humble place, the promised child was born. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in clothes and placed him in the manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Jesus, just as the angel had said, Jesus, Saviour. We had visitors already that first night. Uncle Ezra? No, not any relatives or friends. Some shepherds found their way to the stable in the wee hours of the morning to see our baby. There were shepherds camping in the neighborhood. 
they had set night watches over their sheep suddenly god's angel stood among them and god's glory blazed around them they were terrified don't be afraid i am here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide a savior has just been born in david's town he is christ the lord this is what you are to look for a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger glory to god in the heavenly heights peace to all men and women on earth who please him Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us they said they left and found Mary and Joseph and saw the baby lying in the manger seeing was believing they told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child oh, then finding us in the stable it seems almost impossible but at least these shepherds were common folk like joseph and me we were even more amazed when months later we had other special visitors one day wise men men who studied stars who came from the country far east of the land of israel came to worship jesus They bought gifts for Jesus, gifts fit for a king. The star appeared, the same star they had seen in the eastern skies. It led them or on until it hovered over the place where the child was. They could hardly contain themselves. They were in the right place. They had arrived at the right time. They entered the house and saw the child in the arms of Mary, his mother. Overcome, they kneeled and worshipped him. Then they opened their luggage and presented gifts: gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Now, children, I have kept you away from your chores long enough. Please tell us more. We know you have more things in your trunk. I love remembering these stories with you children. I promise there will be more time another day, but I am tired now and should rest a while. 
we all know this is just the beginning of God's wonderful plan to bring salvation to all people of the world. Perhaps someday God will show us more of the mystery of His love for us. I know that it all started with a promised child born one night a long ago in a stable of Bethlehem. Merry Christmas to all of you!